Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we have one very interesting question from algebra. Here we have to evaluate sum square root a1 plus square root a2 up to square root 119 if an is 2 minus 1 over n square plus square root n power 4 plus 1 over 4 where n is greater than or equal to 1. So let's get started with our given an. I will write an equal to 2 minus 1 over n square plus square root of n power 4 plus 1 by 4. Now I will rationalize my denominator. So I need to multiply by its conjugate in the numerator and denominator both. So n square minus square root of n power 4 plus 1 over 4. So in the numerator n square minus square root of n power 4 plus 1 over 4. Now this is a plus b. Here it is a minus b. So we can use identity a plus b times a minus b. This will be equal to a square minus b square. Let us apply. So I can write a n will be 2 minus n square minus square root of n power 4 plus 1 over 4 over. Now I will write a square as n square whole square minus b square will be square root n power 4 plus 1 over 4 whole square. Now this n square whole square will be n power 4 minus here square root and square will be cancelled out. So I will write n power 4 plus 1 over 4 in the bracket. Now n power 4 minus n power 4 it will be 0. So denominator will be left with minus 1 by 4 only. Let's write in the denominator. I can write a n will be 2 minus n square minus square root of n power 4 plus 1 over 4. This was numerator and denominator was 1 over 4. Now we can take this denominator 4 in the numerator and these 2 minus times minus becomes plus. So we can write 2 plus 4 times in bracket n square minus square root of n power 4 plus 1 over 4. Now I can write 2 plus 4 n square minus 4 square root. Let's take LCM. So 4 n power 4 plus 1 over 4. Or we can write 2 plus 4 n square minus 4 square root of 4 n power 4 plus 1 over 2 only. Now this 2 and 4 will be over. So 2 will be left. So finally we have a n. This will be equal to 2 plus 4 n square minus 2 times square root of 4 n power 4 plus 1. Now we will simplify these two terms separately using algebraic manipulations. Let me write here a n equal to 2 plus 4 n square minus 2 times square root 4 n power 4 plus 1. Let me take this term first. So I will simplify 4 n power 4 plus 1. I will write square root of 
4 n power 4 then I will add 4 n square plus 1 as it is then subtract 4 n square now from first these three terms we can write it is 2n square plus 1 whole square. Then we have 4n square. We can write 2n whole square. Again we can apply difference of two squares formula. So it will become 2n square plus 2n plus 1 in one bracket. In other bracket, 2n square minus 2n plus 1. Now the turn of 2 plus 4n square. Can we write 2 plus 4n square as? Let us split 4n square as 2n square and 2n square. Now we can split 2 as plus 1 and plus 1. Now I can add 2n and subtract 2n. Now you can see 2n square plus 2n plus 1, 2n square minus 2n plus 1 which is here also. Let me write here the complete right hand side. So a n will become I will write 2n square plus 2n plus 1 plus 2n square minus 2n plus 1. Then we have minus 2 times square root of the product of same brackets. So I will write 2n square plus 2n plus 1 times 2n square minus 2n plus 1. If I will write one identity m plus n minus 2 times root mn then it is root m minus root n whole square. So I can write a n will be square root of 2n square plus 2n plus 1 minus square root of 2n square minus 2n plus 1 whole square. Now I will take square root both sides. So I can write here square root 2n square plus 2n plus 1 minus square root of 2n square minus 2n plus 1. This will be equal to plus minus square root a n. Now the point is for n greater than or equal to 1 this quantity will be greater than this quantity. So a bigger number if we will subtract a smaller number from bigger one, we won't get answer negative. So on this ground, I will write square root 2n square plus 2n plus 1 minus square root of 2n square plus 2n plus 1. It will be minus equal to square root an only. Now we will pass n equal to 1, 2, 3 up to 119. Now I can write square root an it is equal to square root 2n square plus 2n plus 1 minus square root of 2n square minus 2n plus 1. Now I will write our required sum expression square root a1 plus square root a2 plus square root a3 plus dot dot 
the last one is square root a 119. Let us plug in n equal to 1. So I can write a square root a1. So 2 plus 2 plus 1. So I will get a square root 5 minus 2 minus 2 plus 1. So it will be a square root 1. Root a1 is over plus a square root a2. So I will write 2 times 4 plus 2 times 2 plus 1 a square root 13 minus a square root 5. If I will write a square root 18, then I can write a square root 25 minus a square root 13 and so on. And the last a square root 119, if I will write, then I need to write 2 times 119 whole square plus 2 times 119 plus 1 minus a square root of 2 times 119 whole square minus 2 times 119 plus 1. This is our last term. So if I will cancel all the terms, then plus root 5 minus root 5 plus root 13 minus root 13 plus root 25 here also. Now minus this term will be cancelled with the in between terms. So finally s will become minus square root 1. Let me write here 2 times 119 whole square plus 2 times 119 plus 1 minus square root 1. Now we have to simplify. RHS s will be equal to square root. I will write 2 times 119 whole square plus 2 times 119 plus 1 and then square root of minus 1 it will be 1. So I can write square root 2 times 14161 plus this will be 238 plus 1 minus 1. We will get 28322 plus 239 minus 1 equal to this addition will be 28561 minus 1. We can factor this number. We can write 169 times 169 minus 1. So this will give us 169 only minus 1 which will be equal to 168. So our final answer for this sum it will be 168. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like share and subscribe. Till next video good luck and take care of yourself.